Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So after being Shaoru Steel, we're going to now go over um, Xion and his 5 star moves, as well as his personal weapon, and review his skills and gameplay as well. Is he hot or not? Well, he's got purple hair, so not bad I guess. Kind of hot? Kind of reminds me from someone from BTS. Anyways, um, like most Katana users, he is a little bit fragile in the physical department. He takes a lot of damage. And of course, he is a fire-based um, you know, Katana user. You can see his uh, VC at level 3, power debuff 20% as well as slash resistance 25% negative. So this is very reminiscent of Sukiya, except that he's a little bit weaker in terms of uh, the debuff. He doesn't apply a fire resistance debuff. Now, of course, the Shoru still enhances two of his main moves, which is the True Dragon as well as the Phoenix Slash. So you can see that the Dragon move is not only uh, reduced in MP cost, it also boosts his power by 35% for one turn. Now, keep in mind when you use it uh, either during AF or the turn before AF, it'll last for the entire duration of the AF. So not too bad at all. And if you use it for one turn, um, you'll still get the benefit the very next turn if you don't use it. The second move I went with is Scarlet Tengu. So um, if you don't have any uh, 5 star characters that can apply a 25% fire resistance debuff, uh, Xi'an is still very very useful to use. The problem is that um, a lot of the newer characters can either do that through their VCs or they can apply it through other moves as well. Uh, for example, Yuan can, um, Seti can, uh, OG Garyu can do it with his VC, and so on and so forth. And of course, Phoenix Slash is the best one uh, in that it does a 3 times XL Slash damage enhanced by the Shoru Steel Manifest weapon and also boosts his speed for a stackable ability of 30 and 15 and 15 for a total of 60% increased speed. Keep in mind that during EF, more speed equals more attacks on the boss and helps to uh, land more hits as well. On another note, if you do use the speed, it'll help you outspeed the boss or any tougher battles as well. Now we're just going to go to this 5 star board and you can see the normal cost of both moves. All manifest weapons do reduce the um, uh, MP cost of their two moves that they enhance. And of course he is a cat lover, which you've seen in his personal quest and the Eastern and Katana um, AF finisher uh, synergies. In terms of Grasta, I only put two 20% uh, fire Grasta on him. And the reason for that is I do feel that unfortunately at this point he seems to be outclassed even with his manifest weapon uh, over some of the newer characters out there. So let's take him out for the spin. Against the Avatar of Wisdom, keep in mind that this is only level 49 of course, um, he can apply a fire resistance debuff and then land his Phoenix Slash. Now, if you want to land both debuffs, you can start with a dragon move um, that applies the physical resistance debuff, followed by uh, the fire debuff, of course, and then you can land the um, three times XL Slash. It does take three turns to set up though, so um, what I do find more useful is to have one of your other party members, especially if you're playing as a team and not solo, um, to apply one of the other two buffs, uh, debuffs, and then use um, uh, you know, his two moves to boost his own power on first and then do the speed with the uh, Phoenix Slash because that's his go-to move for AF. Now, also keep in mind, with the advent of Fire Zone, if you do use AS Garyu, um, increased number of hits does not help power the AF bar more. As long as you're attacking, it just powers the bar by a certain amount. Um, so that does decrease his uh, usefulness with his 3 times slash. Now let's see him in action against Rot Rival. Now keep in mind that at this point with Fire Zone and the fact that Rot Rival is um, weak to fire, we can do a 2 turn uh, AF finisher with no additional um, you know, setup. And if you're wondering why I'm using Mew, the reason for that is because of the wind attack, even with the Fire Zone um, and reduces wind damage by 50%, you do need Princess Bloom to help protect your team from dying for that first move. 
Now Rottweiler's second move is just uh, putting light under two characters and then um, applying a buff to itself. Now you can see that I did apply the buff, uh, debuff with Xion, but Sukiya with her VC is both slash resistance debuff as well as fire resistance debuff. My normal team before I had Xion had Aldo in his place, and before that you could either use Joker or Seti as well. Now you can see that with all the damage, and keep in mind I didn't even use Howling Surge to decrease physical resistance by 50%, being that uh, Xion can already apply it with 25%. Hers would be more effective, but I just wanted to show the difference by not using her Howling Surge which you've seen me use in many many other battles. And there you go, with the Infernal Demise, 2.5 million damage, for a total of almost 15 million damage. Now if you want to compare that to me just using Aldo with one Fire Grasta, um, it does approximately 2 million more than with Aldo on the team. So there is a significant in uh, advantage of using him over Aldo, but let's be honest, Aldo wasn't the strongest Fire uh, Slash user in the game anyways. In terms of comparing, comparing him to uh, his uh, sister, A.S. Akane, um, he is far behind in terms of power. And don't forget that Yuan will have a manifest weapon which will increase his um, power boost to himself as well as uh, fire damage, so on and so forth. So overall, I do think that Xion is great if you don't have many other fire characters. Definitely better than the free ones you do own. Um, however, um, he is being outclassed unfortunately by a lot of other powerful uh, fire users. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.